this tutorial will help you get your Unity projects built and on the web with GitHub. As you can see here, it's running in the window. So the first thing we want to do is make sure you have a GitHub account. You can do this through GitHub Desktop or through the GitHub website. Go ahead and sign up using your student account. Put in your information, make a password. I'm going to go ahead and sign in to my account. And here you can see my desktop. We're going to create a new repository. Give it a name. Rollaball is a good name. This is how it will create the URL for your site. You can give it a description if you'd like. And then we want to add git ignore specific to Unity files. So scroll all the way down to the use and choose Unity and then create. Now your repository starts out empty except for that git ignore file. So the next thing we need to do is build. So I'm showing you here, I'm on Windows. Your GitHub desktop will be on your Mac. You can actually do this with the desktop app, but I'm going to show you in browser since we're in Windows right now. Okay, so we're going to upload files, but we don't have the files to upload yet. We got to do the build. So build a WebGL. Hop over to your player settings, and then under publishing settings, disable compression. All right, once you've disabled compression, you can just click build. Make a new folder to put it in. I usually call mine web build. It's a good name for a web build game. And then go ahead and run it. Shouldn't take very long just for rollerball. And once you've done that, there's your folder. All of these files will get uploaded to GitHub. So now in our settings for this, we got to turn on pages. Pages is how you tell it that this is going to be a website. So you choose main for your branch that will turn on pages it'll take a second to kind of deploy it then we gotta upload those files so add file All right, so then I'm going to bring this up, just drag those and drop them there. It'll upload everything. Probably could have done this at double speed. and then commit changes. You gotta push that green button. So I'm naming this initial commit because every time you make a change, it'll tell, you can tell it what you did in that change. So if you need to roll back to a different version, you can if you break something. So then it processes them. It might take a second for the processing to happen. Here's the code for that website. But to get to the actual page, you can jump into your settings, go back down to that pages part, and there's the URL for your site. So if you click on it, once it's processed the files, it should load your game. And then you have a URL that you can submit on Canvas or put on your Google pages.